immortality? Well, it exists, and I can easily prove it. Yeah, impressive start, but have you ever seriously thought about digital immortality or a search for the date relating to our gadget friends? Some scientists believe that one day technology will allow us to achieve immortality by uploading our neural connections into the robotic bodies. However, other scientists believe that it is impossible right now. The most well-imagined version of this transcendent future is Ray Kurzweil. In his 2005 best-selling book The Singularity is Near, Kurzweil predicted that artificial intelligence would soon encompass all human knowledge and proficiency. Nanoscale brain scanning technology will ultimately enable our gradual transfer of our intelligence, personality, and skills to the non-biological version of our intelligence. Increasingly, we will live in virtual realm that will be indistinguishable from our anatomy universe we live right now and call it real reality. Cool fairy tale, my brother fell asleep in 5 minutes. Most scientists, however, think that any manifestation of our cyborg destiny is much, much farther away. Sebastian Sjung, a professor at the Princeton Neuroscience Institute, has argued that uploading the brain may never be possible. Brains are made up of 100 billion neurons connected by synapses. The entirety of those connections make up the connectome which some scientists believe holds the key to our identities. And in his 2012 book Connectum, How Brains Wiring Makes Us Who We Are, he explained that brain is too complicated thing to do all of that stuff. Oh, hello. Okay, okay, right now I don't want to concentrate on that thing, I believe it for another video. Right now I want to concentrate on something that already exists, our virtual or online identities. Actually, your identity is who you are and what you do. Your visual identity is how others recognize you. Online identity can be many different things. For companies like Amazon, it's the goods we buy and books we like. For YouTube, it's the content we watch. Like everything else on the early internet, identities were represented as a text, a surname, a pseudonym, a string of characters that represent you in social interactions online. For a long time, it wasn't common to use your real-life identities on the internet. Users were hiding behind a series of outer egos they created for various purposes on the internet. Where we are now, there is no limit to the amount of information we share through social media, our photos, videos, ideas, values, goals, religion, political views, personal branding, actually. This is how other people recognize us and perceive our thoughts and ideas presented in our Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Telegram, and so on and so forth. Our virtual personality has its interests, language, face. No longer our personality identified by our real behavior in real life. Now it also identified by our behavior in social media and internet. Just think about it. Namely, interests of our virtual identity are taken into account when social media offers us different content. Based on our interests, questions, history, content we see for 2 hours or less than 10 seconds, algorithm slips us the content that is suitable for us, for our virtual identity. Actually, are there differences between these two? I'm not sure about it right now. You may be wondering what kind of a message I try to share with you via that video because all of us already somehow understand all of that, but knowing all of that is not enough. You can actually use this information in order to drastically change your life and be more disciplined. If you were thinking about changing your life and becoming more productive and set specific goals, do one thing. Create new, perfectly new accounts in all social media and before internet algorithms identify your values, ideas, or bad habits of, let me say, bad version of yourself, let them know that you are a new one with healthy habits, interests in studying or specific niche, so that internet algorithms start to provide content that is suitable for the personality you want to become, even though it's just for your virtual identity. However, as I said it previously, I'm not sure that there is differences between these two. I'm gonna explain it more deeply. Several times I tried to change my life, be more productive and disciplined, but one thing always stayed with me and prevented me from becoming a better person – my virtual life. Internet did not see my plans and continued to present me content I didn't need anymore. All of us spend a lot of time in the internet, and content we get shapes our identity. 
For example, human enjoys watching movies, and it is impossible for them to stop binge watching. Of course, internet algorithms understand all of that and provide as many films as possible. Though human tries to avoid it, it is impossible because each and every website provides new film. While this person changes their account, internet algorithms stop do that and through some time this person can dispose of that bad habit of binge watching because internet just doesn't provide the content anymore. Or let's say person enjoys eating junk food. He or she realizes that it is bad habit but it is so hard to dispose of that habit. Internet algorithms of course understand it and provide different pictures of burgers. Changing his or her account, person can dispose of that pictures of hamburgers and dispose of the bad habit of eating junk food. Of course, it takes time, it's not that easy as I explain it right now, but though it can exert some impact on our bad habits and bad behavior. Of course, these examples are the easiest ones because content that is provided by the internet is far more complicated. It includes different values, ideas, religion, as I said previously. It shapes our personality and our identity. So let's pursue the content that makes us better, but not worse. And right now I'm not talking about the productivity content because it's a topic for another video, but productivity content can exert enormous and bad impact on us, as well as this advertisement of the burgers. I'm talking about healthy relationships with our internet, with content that we perceive every single day. Okay, guys, that was everything for today. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that you like this idea, though feel free to write in the comments down below what do you think about this idea, am I right, or maybe you have another opinion about changing account and changing your personality. So thank you so much for watching this video and see you in the next video. Bye-bye!